Hello, welcome back to my channel or Kingdom Mad and today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to make parametric curve ceiling design as you can see in this image and uh, uh, it looks really nice as you can see in this one image also okay so let's get started okay so first of all I will go to my 3d view and I'll just get rid of this because I don't need this for this project so I'll just hit uh, E N H for to hide it shortcut key and then I will just uh, make this background a little bit some kind of gradient so I'll just go to my graphic display option and I'll go to the shadows I'll click on shadow this one and then uh, background I'll check with gradient so this looks nice so now I'll go back to my level one and I'll uh, need I will create a reference plane so I'll I will uh, select the, the keyboard RP the reference plane I'll just simply click uh, uh, simply drag the line and then I'll make the name as one then I'll go to my south view because it's the I mean the south elevation sorry because it's the front for this uh, parametric of ceiling the front, uh, front face so now I will just go to my components and model in place I will create a mass so I'll just search a mass I will click OK OK and now I will just go to uh, this model and I'll specify the work plane I'll select the name as we already assigned the name the number one and then I'll hit OK now I'll just create this one the arc release method and I'll just Drag this line to three six double zero. Okay, this one okay. Then I'll just drag a little bit down. Then the next one three six double zero same, and just and I'll hit escape. And now I will check on three D. As you can see here, it's created. Now I'll go to the top view, and I will just copy this to five meter. So I'll just uh, go to my copy option. I'll just click here and I'll uncheck this box constraint. And then I will go and I'll just hit my keyboard 5 meter. Now I'll select both of it and create a form. And I'll just uh, create a form. Okay. So I'll just select both of it and then I'll just uh, divide its surface and then I will go to I'll select one of the profile and just go to uh, its U grid and I'll make it uh, maybe 20 okay yeah this one fine then I will I will hit OK no need to worry about the warning so now we need to create a new profile uh, in the family so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it I'll go to file create a new family and here I will click to the English then I will search for uh, my curtain panel pattern based the metric one so here as you can see metric curtain panel pattern based so we will select this one and then I will just place this point element to one of its on the here somewhere here on the center and I'll just escape and then I will set its plane so we are going to click here on the set work plane then I will just select this vertical one if you tap if you press the tab key on your keyboard it will show you just like that I'll select the vertical one and I'll just click it then I'll go to the reference line I will just create a, a small rectangle so I'll go here rectangle then I'll just click here and I'll just do like this 
now I'll just give a dimension to it shortcut key is di both of it so now I will give uh, this dimension to its uh, to the parameter the new parameter so I'll just create a new parameter and then I will give uh, him as width so I'll just give w and and the next one I will select here I'll make this the height I'll just place edge hit OK and now we can uh, assign the, to its uh, family type so I'll go here so now I'll just go to its dimension so maybe uh, 20 on its uh, height and 20 on its width and I will give the formula as a height so it will be equal when we in future if we change its uh, dimensions okay so now we need to create uh, its uh, material parameter also okay so before that I will just select uh, my rectangle here and I'll select this panel here and I'll just go to create its solid form and as you can see now it's created and I'll just select this now I'll give a new parameter for this uh, uh, material so I'll go here make a new one I'll just make name as a ma material hit OK OK and now I'll go to its uh, family type I'll assign the material to it I'll make a new one I'll just duplicate and name is as orange and now I'll search here I will go to in the paint section ball paint or you can just search here so I'll use the red, uh, light red orange and I'll just click here use rendering appearance I'll hit OK hit OK now uh, before you want to use this in your uh, project make sure that you should save your family somewhere I already saved so I'm just going to load it to my project so now I'll go to my 3d view I'll select this one I'll select edit in place I'll select this profile I'll go here and I'll find my family this one I just selected and change this family now as you can see here now that pattern is created now I'll just hit OK it looks nice okay the realistic mode it looks really nice so now I'll go to its level 2 to create a ceiling so I'll go to the architecture tab I will create a ceiling sketch ceiling select the rectangle I will just select one of its corner to the another corner I'll just hit OK and then I will go to its elevation south of it and I'll just drag this up and I'll select uh, maybe uh, 800 and I'll now the copy the exact same one on the, its place so I'll just copy and just place it on the level 2 so we just duplicate that now I can just switch that with using my arrow key somewhere in this middle of it and I will go to his 3d view I'll just uh, edit its boundary and I will just go here 
or you can just drag it a little bit into into this one and I'll just try to use the AL command let's see okay okay just uh, press the tab to select one single segment line okay okay I'll hit OK now I will just create a side wall to it so I will just create I will select uh, from the keyboard WA so shortcut key and I will give its height to level 2 I'll just simply pick line tools click here click here click here click here now I'll just adjust this manually I'll just attach this one to its ceiling same thing I'll do here make sure that it should uh, connect on its right place it will show you some snip option just like this I can see the line the imaginary line okay I'll just uh, align this one to this okay Okay, this one. And I'll just drag it. So, okay, let me check this one. Oh, okay, it's not fully connected. Okay, now it's good and here also make sure that it should be on the correct position or we can use it for this one also select this one also just align it properly for the better view so now our ceiling is created and now I'm going to place the hanging light lamps to it so what I'm going to do is I'll go to level 2 I will click this wireframe now I will open my folder where I saved the family okay so now it's loaded here I'll just place it somewhere here and I'll use the array command so shortcut key is AR I'll just select from the middle and I will just select the spacing here then I'll give like maybe 4 or maybe 5 yeah five is okay I think so and the same thing I'll do here but before that you should ungroup this one if it is ungrouped then you cannot do the array again so just ungroup it and then select now just do the same thing here just select this one and use the array command and just select here and spacing maybe here will be okay I think so just don't want to be too much close to it I'll place here I'll give it three three or four maybe 
yeah four will work out so I'll do the same thing here and either you can just copy it and you can use array command also so I'll just array command I'll do the same thing I'll just copy it because it's it will be easy here we'll just select go to the copy middle one and place select the multi make sure that you select the multiple middle middle the last one so now we have created our lightnings as you can see here it looks really nice and it looks really nice as you can see here you know 3d so I'll just put some walls and I'll show you how it looks like on the landscape rendering so I will just uh, go to my level 2 I will just go to my wall command wa shotkey key select here select like this don't need to worry about because we just doing uh, this is just for tutorial purpose going to do the same thing I'll just align to this this one same thing here I'll go to 3D and check this one. So I'll go and set this wall to level 1. Okay. Center line, okay. I'll just. Uh, I think we need to set this one to here. This one here and this one here. So for the glossy interior, the finish, I'll just give uh, some uh, finish to it because uh, it looks good. Then I'll just uh, duplicate this wall first. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Then I'll just give uh, here I'll click it and I'll give uh, finish I'll pull it down and the category I'll select uh, maybe Clyde white okay this works oh okay maybe one centimeter will be good no problem okay uh, so the finish is actually on the exterior side so I just I need to pull it back again pull it up okay yeah it's on the inside so now I'll just match property for the other wall okay so I'll just give a space bar here and it will be on the it will it will flip the wall and then I'll just create a normal floor I'll go to level 2 I'll just give a floor to it yeah this will be good oops okay it's uh, okay for the floor I just give you the finish I think uh, the wood wood will be good so I'll just select something maybe oak oak flooring I'll just select it okay okay 
and I'll just hide this wall to give you some presentation on Enscape. I'll just hide it and now you can see it looks really nice so uh, if you want to put windows just for presentation I'll just press WN window shortcut key I'll select any one of them I'll just give something here then here yeah, it's, yeah it looks good so now I'll just give you some uh, rendering from uh, from its uh, Enscape. I'll just start it. Let's see how it's gonna look like. So I'll just make it bigger. So as you can see now it looks really nice and uh, don't worry about this uh, kind of a uh, fluctuating graphic uh, it happens because uh, when your wall is actually clashing to it so it appears like that so you can just pull it up or you can just give paint color to it just select the wall click on paint click just search it flat white select and just select it face here okay I mean it will be good looks good when you want to put renderings so it will reflect the light actually and just okay I just need to align this one okay I think now it's looking good I'll just go back to my rendering and escape just make it big so as you can see it looks really nice so you can create a lot of patterns you can make your own types and I will give uh, the download link of this profile in the description also this lamp and in the Enscape, if you want to see its uh, night view so you can just press uh, the shift key and the right uh, right click on the mouse and you can just drag it so the the weather will get I mean the light will change and you can see here in the night it will look like this and looks really nice okay guys thank you so much for watching uh, hit like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed see you in the next tutorial bye bye